Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to upgrade the firmware on this particular device. This is the Wildrox EFM2 and there was a firmware upgrade pushed by Wildrox on um, November 15th is what I see from their website. And the improvements are something that we need to check. But as of now, let's just click on it and we'll see um, what it says. So basically, update as follows so it supports uh, with the z mount uh, in manual focus and as well as canon ef 85 millimeter 1.2 the version 2 lens and the canon 50 millimeter f 1.2 lusm lens so i think these are like basically doing the firmware upgrade you know making it compatible with the latest lenses from canon so regardless i'm specifically using it on my gh I'm sorry, it's the Lumix C9 and I'll be using it with my Sigma 18 to 35 mm lens. So uh, let's do the firmware upgrade, you know, right now. And I'll actually guide you through the steps. It's like pretty simple. All you need is this adapter and uh, a simple USB cable. That should be it. And uh, as of now, uh, I think it's running the older version. So let's proceed with the steps and I'll show you how to do that in the screen sharing. So guys, we are back on the screen sharing now. So all you need to do right now is just download the firmware. That is the latest one. And from here, we can clearly see that the EFM2, the version two has a firmware upgrade of 3.4. So let's download this. And it's like pretty simple. It just downloads off and uh, we have to just show that in the extractor and let's go back here and solve it with date and yep so this is the file basically the EFM2 version uh, 3.4 uh, VTX so this is the one so let's copy it for now so all right guys so now that we have downloaded the firmware the next thing that we need to do is uh, plug our you know adapter to that usb talking or usb cable and put it into the system right now i've just plugged it in and uh, all right so as so I'm actually using Mac. So if you're using Windows, it will just show up as a normal, you know, external drive. So it's similarly in the same way uh, on Mac operating system. So, so if you're using Windows, it's almost the same, but uh, it, in Mac, it's like a different thing. It's, it will show up as a mounted device. Whereas in Windows, it's just like, uh, you, you know, a drive that you see in your computer. So this is basically the file that we need to copy into this folder and just place it there and once you place the file there the device will automatically you know get removed so that means the firmware upgrade is basically done so that's how simple it is so now that we are done it will automatically unmount so you'll not uh, see that if you open that as well like if you open the same folder and see the file will not be there so that means the upgrade went through and it took the update internally on the adapter so now we are good we can actually close this and eject eject our device and unplug your you know cable and we are good so the firmware upgrade is all done now so that is how simple this is so i believe this instructions were helpful to you if you have any questions let me know in the comments i'll definitely try to answer them and for now i will go ahead and end this video i will hope to see you again on my channel take care bye bye